Um, Carl, talk us through your new man, Ryan, over there in the corner watching on. Yeah, look, it's, um, I suppose it took a little, little bit of a long time for us to um, get the deal done, um, more on our part than, than Ryan's part. He was very keen to come and when we first made contact, um, but we w had to make sure that was the right fit for us and um, I believe we've got a, a very good player that's going to you know, add just um, that experience that we, we need in the middle of the park and also provide you know, a good ball playing uh, midfielder as well. Yeah, look, um, as I said, we've got a very young side, especially in the, in the midfield, um, other than Isias and, and Zach, the rest of the boys are under 21, so um, it was important that we added a, a little bit of experience in there to help um, guide some of the young players that we've got in that midfield positions, because we've got some um, really good quality young players, but they need, also need a little bit of experience in there to help them. Will you play traditionally as a six most of the time? Um, no, more of an eight. Um, so. Um, Look, at times he'll, he'll have to play six as well, um, but um, we're changing a little bit of um, our formation, the way we played a little bit different from last season, So, um, and, and Ryan will fit into that, that mould very well. The experience that someone like Ryan brings um, from, you know, two or three hundred games in championship football, what can that add to Adelaide and the way you play? Yeah, look, it, it's just not um, the way that we play as well. But um, you know, to play that many games in the in the championship where you're playing, you know, a game every three or four days, it's um, you need a you know a, a strong body and a strong mind as well, and and it, it's difficult football over there playing that. So uh, I'm sure you know Ryan will you know take a little while to settle here. But um, when, once he settles, and he should be ready for round one to go and hit the ground running. Is Ryan viewed as a direct replacement for Louis? The reckon? Um, no, they're a little bit different players. Um, you know, Ryan. Um, you know, Louis was um, sort of a young player. You know, he, even though he played 100 games for us, um, uh, Louis was still you know young in the way that he played the game. And Ryan has that bit more experience for us, and and be able to you know maybe get on the ball and, and dictate play a bit more. And we're expecting to see some more time. Um, yeah, look, we're, we're still looking. Um, you know, we've got um, we still got a spot, a foreign spot left, and we're, we're still looking. Um, but we're not going to, um, you know, just jump at any signing. You know, we're taking our time, like we did with Ryan, um, to make sure we get the right fit that fits in with the, with the squad. Are you looking more to the kind of UK market as well? We've seen Zach uh, come over and now Ryan. Um, is that an area where you're looking a little bit more? No, no, we, we look everywhere, every corner in the world we're looking. Um, you know, I have a, you know, I'm, I'm, I suppose you, when you look at the team and some of the players we have brought in, um, I do like Spanish players, but um, it's very difficult to, to find good ones to, to come here. Um, but, um, um, but it's important that we find players that fit the mould of, of the football that we play. It's a bit harder now with, without the transfer window, without the ability to maybe, you know, get a loan signing. And... Yeah, I, I suppose loan signings, um, but you know, there's still a lot of free agents um, out out there. So um, you know, I think you've seen, you know, there's still clubs still signing players as well in the A League. So um, it's just a matter of, as I said, uh, finding the right fit that's going to fit the mould of um, player that we're looking for now. No, not at all. Um, you know, we knew um, you know from the end of last season where the squad was, and you know a lot of people were saying that we're not signing players, but we're promoting a lot of our young players. Um, you know, we expect Johnny Yell to play a lot more minutes this year. We expect Nesta to play a lot more minutes this year. We expect Luca to play a lot more minutes this year. Ethan Alligich to play more. Luke Dizel to play more. Um, and Bernardo, who didn't play last year, we we expect more minutes out of them. So you know, we're getting. A lot of growth from our, our young players. Um, you know, they they all had a an introdu introduction last year, so we're expecting a lot more games and a lot more minutes out of them, and it's going to be exciting. You know, they showed um, glimpses of what they could do last season, so it's going to be a very exciting year this year to see that growth in those young players. Do you think that they're, they're ready? Obviously, you see the fans saying so on, some of the time, some of it. But you're promoting the youth. Do you think those boys are ready? Because the Adelaide fans are used to a fair amount of success with what you guys have had on a shoestring budget recently. Yeah, look, when you, you know you look at my time since I've been here, you know this is my fourth season. We haven't signed a lot of players over my 
over the course of my time that I've been here, we've always looked to promote from within and, and this season's no different. And I think we're very fortunate at the moment that we've got a very good crop of young players. And, and you just have to look at what our MPL side done this year in the, in the local league to, to win the championship there. Um, so it's, um, it's there, the young players are there and they need opportunities. I always say this, our young players need the opportunities and we are providing that, that platform for them this year. And it's going to be an exciting year to see, as I said, you know, I think Johnny O, Nesta, um, Luca and, and Luke and even, Al, even Alagic and, and Bernardo, you know, they're all exciting young players that, you know, we expect to get a lot of game time this year and um, take that next step and, and be um, top A-League players. Yeah, most definitely. You know, I think we've we've spoke about the culture at the club um, since I've taken over. It's a very big factor, and I think that's the reason why we've had success over the last three years. Um, so, you know, that's something that we, when we are looking at bringing players in, it's in, it's very important for us that they they fit the mould that we want. Yeah, look, I think it's everyone, um, when it first was announced, you know, disappointed that we've lost such a quality player, um, a player that's um, provided a lot for, for the club and a lot for the state, not just for us, but for the national team as well. Um, but, you know, we you know, wish Craig all the best. And, you know, I think now that the dust has settled, I think everyone realises it was the best decision for Craig. Um, to go test himself at that next level. Um, as I said to Craig um, when he left, you know, there's another World Cup coming around in three years. He needs to be at his best and, and to be playing in Saudi Arabia at the moment against the quality that they have over there. I think it's, um, you know, the best step for him in, in his career. It sounds like it was perhaps a decision made by those above you to not try and bring him back. Does it hurt you a bit as the coach to have the star player, the best player, and they leave the captain. Yeah, look, I, I think any team, when they lose their best player, it hurts. But, um, you know, the opportunity that is there now for the other players that, um, you know, were sort of um, hidden a little bit from Craig's shadow. So now they have to step out and, and show what they can do. Oh, look, Craig is, um, you know, a very passionate um, person and, you know, we had many discussions over, over it um, over a long period of time and in the end of the day, it's, I think, um, you know, when I spoke with Craig, I think it was the best decision for his career um, and I know he desperately wanted to, to stay at the club but we just couldn't come to, to meet what he needed to, to stay. You mentioned uh, a new formation, <coughs> excuse me, uh, potentially this year. Is it harder to now find players to suit that system or do you feel like you actually have a squad already that can play that way? Yeah, definitely got a squad that can play that way. That's why we're sort of making those changes because of the young players that are coming through. We need to make sure we provide a platform that um, exposes their best interest um, so they can play their sort of natural game. And that's uh, some of the reason why we're changing, but it's also we, we need to change because we need to improve on what we did last year. Are you worried because you're still looking, as you're saying, for, for new players? Are you worried if you can't get a couple more deals over the line that the squad maybe has stagnated and not gotten better? No, not at all. As I said, I think um, when we look at our squad, um, we believe it has improved last year just from the growth from those young players. Um, as I said, there's five or six young players there that um, I suppose we're fortunate enough that we've got that, that quality there in our young players that we can promote them. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, we've spoken many times about the, the youth set up here in the state and how we provide a lot of um, players, not just at our club. You know, there's a lot of um, South Australian players that have gone on to other clubs because we haven't been, been able to provide a spot for them because we can only give so many spots. Um, but it's exciting. Um, as I said, we've got the quality there and those young players and they need the game time.